Welcome back. Yes, you are back with your boy Scarcious, and we're in the old Chile Open right now. We were faced up against a Galvanchlo while we had our Criselli on the lead, but we swap out and catch that lunge perfectly on our Reggie still. And we know that Galvanchlo leads are normally weak to Reggie still in the back, so we're not expecting them to leave from here for now. It's building up and now we're going to offload that zap. Look for that debuff on them. There we go, we get that attack drop so that forces them to leave. And now they come in with that jelly. Come on man, we know they're weak in the back. But that jelly feels a bit safer now that Reggie still is a bit low. Alright, but we're going to go for that zap regardless. See how they're feeling like they let go. We get that attack drop on them and now we can come in with Cress who's stacked on energy. Alright, offloading that grass. Not That brings them down into that low red. Alright, they're going to be throwing a charge move here. That's absolutely fine. Cresselia doesn't care about that. Building up, building up. It's going to prove very difficult to farm down the Jellison before they get to a charge move. So we're going to offload that grass, not here, get rid of that jelly. Galvantula comes back. And now we're going to offload that Moonblast. Expecting them to shield, man. You know Galvantula users, they love to shield. Yeah. All right. We're going to be throwing a lunge here. All right. And then we swap out instantly into our Shadow Swampert. He's going to offload a Hydro Cannon here. Still expecting them to shield. You know how Galvantula users are. Yeah, we grabbed that last shield there. They probably want to lunge and dip. Let's see what the vibe is. They go for that lunge. And then they dip into Mandibuzz. Okay. So we want to stack up a lot of energy and get out of here to clear that debuff. And let Swampert go off. They go for that Dark Pulse. Switch clock not quite ready yet, so we're gonna throw this Hydro to delay the clock a bit more. Looking like it's coming up. And then we're gonna swap out here into Crest, clear that debuff. And then we're gonna come in with Reggie, still force them to throw energy here. They don't fancy getting hit by a zap. So they're gonna throw some energy here and then Swamp it. Should be able to clean up, stacked on energy. All right, offloading that Hydro. Let's go, man. All right, get off another one here. They're very low, crucial red. Throw here. This will take out this Mandibuzz, of course, and then Galvantula is not gonna be able to get to a move before we get to one. So this one is looking like GG's. Nicely done. All right, taking that W, let's move swiftly on. And that was just a quick pasture of the Ultra League, but we're gonna transition over to the Master League now. Yes, Master League time. We have our Mewtwo on the lead. We are faced up against a Xerneas. And we definitely don't mind this. So we're stacked, throwing that side strike. They let that go. We're gonna stack up. They wanna throw now. This should be moon blast. We're gonna shield that up. We're gonna make them panic. And they should look to dip out. So we're gonna be throwing our side strike here. Let's see what they wanna do. They can't go toe to toe with us, so they'll dip out or they're gonna throw a moon blast and go down. We can let this go. Take that well. See what they want to do. Are they sticking around? Yeah, they're going to stick around. We're going to throw a side strike here. Get rid of them. I don't expect them to shield here. So we're going to be able... To, we should be able to get to a charge move against this Rayquaza. We do. Let's see how they're feeling. Like, do they fancy shielding? Let's see. Yeah, they shield that. Okay, that's nice. All right. So what do they want to do now? 
Well, they want to do, you're not going to catch. No, we're expecting that, so you're not going to catch that. So they swap it into Groudon, we swap it into Ho Ho, and they top left the mess. GG's. It was too obvious they wanted to catch there. But anyway, moving swiftly into the next one. Let's go. All right, faced up against a Melmetal. Okay. Okay, we definitely don't mind this. Resisted Psy Strikes for the win. <laughs> you already know, Mewtwo built different. We're going for the Iron Bash, okay. That's cool. We don't mind that. We're going to be able to spam them off, but it's still not going to help them with this matchup. So, we're going to go for them Iron Bashes. And we're going to be throwing them Psy Strikes. All right. Bring them down into the red. This isn't going to take us out. We're going to get to another slash strike and take them out. And then see what they got in the back. And whatever comes in gets minimal farm. So this works out perfectly. See what they want to come in with here. It is Gyarados. Okay, okay, okay. Absolutely fine. We can come in Xerneas here. Resisting them dragon breaths. And we're gonna throw here. This should just be Aqua Tell. Yeah. We're just stacking energy. And now we can offload the Moon Blast, which you already know will do big damage. Puts them in a low red. And they're going to be spamming off Aquatel. They're going to go for another one. They should be able to get to another. And I doubt they're going to let us farm down. So I'm expecting them to try and swap out after this. We will be shielding this. We don't want to get farmed down. So do they dip? Yes, they dip into Dragonite. So this Moonblast definitely will be getting the shield. And then we're going to swap out into Ho-Ho. Let's go. Alright, they're gonna throw a charge move here. Should just be a dragon claw. Yep, that tickles, but we'll add up with the dragon breaths. We're gonna go for the resisted charge move here of sacred fire. No debuff, unfortunately. Alright. So we're gonna let this claw go. And it's all up to Xerneas now. Let's go. Let's go, we're going to show this up, we're going to expect to catch, which is going to help them lose this battle, because right now we're just going to farm it all the way down, and it just gives us a bunch of energy, and now we can throw double close combat, the first one to get the shield, the second one to take them out, and that's looking to be G to the G, nicely done, alright, well, taking that W, let's move swiftly into the next one. Let's get him. All right. Faced up against a Dialga Shine Flexing. Okay. Okay, we're going to look to Ice Beam them quickly. See what they want to do here. Do they fancy shielding or letting this go? We're gonna let that go, alright. So we're gonna shield their iron head when they decide to throw it. I'm gonna shield that and then we're gonna stack energy. Stack a lot of energy. And then we're gonna throw our side strike here, which will take them out if they decide to not shield. If they decide to shield it, we're gonna get to another side strike here. Boom. So, how they feel that? Do they fancy double shielding? Yeah, they double shield. Okay, that works perfectly for us. Let's go, man. Now we come in Xerneas. Who can take one Iron Head? See what the vibe is. Letting the Iron Head go. He's still got a shield. And now we can just throw that close combat, get rid of them. And we have the advantage of shields. 
So we've got one shield, they have zero, and then they come in <laughs> with Zacian and immediately swap out when they saw us swap out into their Groudon. This ain't great for them at all. It's not looking good. They go for the Precipice Blades, okay, that's absolutely fine, we don't mind that. But we're gonna offload that Sacred Fire. Big damage, and their attack falls. We're gonna go for that full farm down, you already know. Bring in that Zacian, nope, they decide to top left and that's GG's. Come on, man. Nice. Moving on into the next one, though. Faced up against a Lugia, okay. After the nerf, I thought we would be seeing a lot less of these, but we'll find out over time. We don't mind, though. Offloading that ice beam. Let's see how they're feeling like, though. They showed that up, okay. But the thing is, we're gonna get to another one. We know this isn't gonna be Aero Blast. Yeah, Sky Attack that tickles. And now we're gonna offload another Ice Beam. Let's see how they're feeling like, though. They double shield for some reason. What's going on here? We're gonna shield back, though. We're gonna use the shield here, apply some pressure. I'm gonna bring that Lugia down a bit low. Stacking and offloading that ice beam here. Let's go. All right, Mewtwo's job is done. They have no shields, we have one shield. See what the vibe is. We were absolutely certain that they would have thrown Aero Blast here, but they decided to throw Sky Attack. Well, that's absolutely fine because they won't be getting to another charge move, so. Yeah, no problem for us. Offloading the Moon Blast. Bye bye to that Lugia. And they come in with Excadrill. And you really know we're gonna full send that close combat as they have no shield. Big damage. Swap out into Ho Ho. And they bring in Haxorus. That's absolutely fine. Let's go. And they're running Surf on their Haxorus, you know. We don't mind that though. Stacked on energy, offloading the Brave Bird. How they feeling like? Oi, oi. They can't take that, not with Haxorus. Excadrill comes in, throwing the Rock Slide straight away, but, oh, they've drew run. Okay, that's fine though, that's fine though. That's not gonna change the outcome of the matchup. We're just gonna farm down this extra draw all the way no need to throw a charge move this one's a wrap g to the g nicely done all right moving on though into the last one faced up against the xerneas mewtwo loves to see it so let's see what they want to do here just gonna stack <laughs> they decide to swap out trying to catch a side strike onto lugia but this Lugia's in trouble. Throw that ice beam. Building up. Stacked. And we're throwing another ice beam before they can even offload any charge. We've had a feeling like big damage. Let's go, man. All right, we let that go. It's just sky attack that tickles. We're going to farm them all the way down now. And now we have a side strike ready to go if that Xerneas wants to come back. And it does come back and we throw that side strike instantly. How are they feeling like though? We get that shield. All right, get into another side strike. Things went from bad to worse for this trainer. All right, you can already see where this one is heading though. Because we're going to come in with Ho Ho here. They're not going to like that. And this one's looking to be a wrap. So thank you guys for coming by once again. You all take care now. Peace.